Welcome to the historic Lisbon United Methodist Church. The church was entered into the National Register of Historic Places in December of 2015, based on its architectural, social, and religious significance. The church is associated with events that have made a tremendous contribution to our history and represents the work of an important Cedar Rapids architectural firm of the late 19th and 20th centuries. The Methodist Church sits on the corner of North Jackson and East Market Streets. The Lisbon Methodist Church is the only church standing today that was designed by Joslyn and Taylor Architects of Cedar Rapids. The firm designed only one other church, which was located in Cedar Rapids, but was demolished in 1948. The firm was well known throughout the state of Iowa and commissioned to design several buildings, including the historic Bruce Moore Estate in Cedar Rapids, the University of Iowa Medical Hospital building in Iowa City, and the World's Columbian Exposition at the World's Fair in Chicago in 1893. Henry Joslin was a friend of church member Willard C. Stutzlager, a state senator and successful banker and insurance agent in Lisbon. Because of this personal connection, the Lisbon Methodist Church was built in a building type uncommon among the works of Joslin and Taylor, an elaborate style not typically seen in a small community. The Lisbon Methodist Church displays late Victorian architecture in a combination of Queen Anne and shingle style features. The exterior is prominently Queen Anne style, displaying contrasting materials, limestone, brick, and wood, gabled walls, decorative boards, and stained glass. The two crossed gables on the west and south are the prominent architectural points of the church. The cross gabled roof is covered in green clay tiles. The foundation and raised basement are constructed with limestone that came from nearby Stone City. The main level of the church is constructed of red brick with limestone trim. The original steeple was damaged by lightning in 1956 and rebuilt in 1999. The steeple has a raised stone foundation and brick walls. The bell from the old church was saved to be used in the new church. The shingle style can be seen in the overall openness of the design of the large auditorium and gallery, round arch entryways, and the shape of the interior trusses and ceiling. The auditorium is two stories high and provided seating for up to 500 people. The open floor plan and social rooms reflected beliefs central to the social gospel, which advocated for an expanded social and educational role for churches, including large Sunday school classrooms and social rooms for community gatherings. The church was a center of community for the Lisbon residents, hosting public high school commencement ceremonies and the school's annual alumni banquet for a number of years, annual Memorial Day ecumenical services, meeting and lectures focusing on social issues, civic and patriotic meetings and events, especially during World War I, and local as well as traveling entertainment groups. The interior of the church contains many of its original features including the large folding wood panel doors between the auditorium and gallery, pews, stained glass windows, decorative metal floor vents, two staircases, wood panel doors, and wood floor and moldings. The stained glass windows are all original, although some restoration work has been done. The large central window is the jewel of the church's collection of stained glass and is made up of three Gothic arches topped with three circular rosettes. The center window displays a depiction of Christ standing at the door knocking. The pulpit and pew ends are Gothic designs. The plaster work was commissioned in August of 1950 to Kinnett and Sons Painting Company. And some of the plaster has been recently repaired. The decorative stenciling is painted into the plaster and can still be viewed in the upper hallway. The Steinway piano is the original piano that was purchased for the grand celebration of the new Lisbon Methodist Church. The cost of the piano at the time it was purchased was $450.
The piano is a rare Steinway model, which has 85 keys instead of the normal 88 keys. In 2014, it was said to be only one of three known models of the Steinway left in the world. The Steinway was professionally restored to its original state in 2014 as a memorial gift. The Steinway decals were given to the church in the 1980s as a gift from a Steinway representative who has close family ties to the church and community. The decals were finally added during the 2014 restoration. The total restoration cost of the project was over $27,000. Raising the money to build a new church was an ambitious community endeavor. Since Lisbon population was only about 950 at the time, and the community was home to eight other churches, the building project cost was $14,000. $8,000 was raised before construction began, and the remainder was pledged by members, neighbors, and friends at the grand opening service. Although there were only about 150 church members at the time, over 900 people attended the grand opening and dedication service held on April 9, 1899. The additional $6,000 needed to cover the cost of construction was pledged on dedication day, leaving the church debt free. The pipe organ was originally proposed by the Ladies' Aid Society, but not installed until the summer of 1915. The Ladies' Aid Society organized many fundraisers, 10-cent meals, to cover the cost of $3,000. With a $1,000 grant from the Carnegie Foundation, the project was paid in full by 1917. The original billows, which were installed in 1915, are still available for observation above the coal room in the basement of the church. The coal room, which originally had just dirt walls, was finished off with local brick from a business which is located on a farm south of town. We hope that you have enjoyed learning about the history and architecture of the Lisbon Methodist Church. We are dedicated to the restoration and preservation of this church. For more information, or if you're just interested in a personal tour, please contact the church office.